welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to make you understand how to convert decimals to fraction so first we'll consider these fractions and then we'll come to the recurring part of the fraction uh, decimals okay so here whenever you have something like this all you have to do is just write this in terms of fraction which is what 4 upon 10 correct and then if you can simplify this further then please simplify so this can be written as what 2 upon 5 so final answer for 0 0.4 is what 2 upon 5 please understand 4 upon 10 is also your answer but the ex ex accepted answer is always the one which is in the lowest form of fraction okay so now this will be what 75 upon 100 both of them are going into 25 tables so this will be what 3 upon 4 right now please understand there are how many digits after the decimal point so here we'll write 364 correct and after the de decimal point there are literally three digits so here the number of zeros will also be three and one will represent your decimal point similarly was the case for 75 we had two digits after the decimal point so we put two zeros and one was representing your decimal point and similarly similarly for 0 0.4 now please understand this can be cancelled further both of them are going out in four stable so this will be 91 and this will be 250 so final answer for this one will be what 91 upon 250 okay so i hope you all have gotten the idea of how to convert any decimal number into a fraction now coming to this particular uh, format Okay, whenever you have a single number which is getting repeated and you just have a point and the single number is repeating itself immediately then you can directly write this as what 7 upon 9 okay I will give you the explanation for this as well but this is for me this is a trick which I want you all to know so if in case you had 0 0.24 and 24 was getting repeated so you will write what 24 upon 99 okay now this both of them are going in what three stable so this will be what 8 upon 11 oh sorry 8 upon 33 my bad okay so this is how you will be doing for at least those numbers after the decimal point if the numbers are continuously repeating and if there is just single number you write what 7 upon 9 if there are two numbers which are repeating itself then 24 upon 99 if there will be three numbers 0 0.125 so you will write what 125 upon 999 okay and that will get you the actual answer we can check this with the help of calci so we got 1, 2, 5 divided by 9, 9, 9. So we got the answer as 0 0.125, 1 to 5, 1 to 5, 1 to 5, 1 to 5, which is recurring. Similarly, let's try for 8 divided by 33. So we are getting 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. That was my decimal part of the question. So I hope you got the idea of how to do these kind of things. Now this is fine right but you might be wondering that what will happen if the question had let's say 0 0.4155 and 555 are repeating okay so basically this is the repeating part then what we will do is first we will make this x okay and then what we will next step what we should do is we should multiply this in such a format that after the decimal point we just have the recurring part so if we multiply this with 1000 we will get 415.555 correct and this is what going to get you 1000x okay you are multiplying by 1000 on both the sides now in order to find the actual fraction you need to discard this so how will I discard this from here here again I will multiply by what 100x so I'll get what 41.55 which is 55 is recurring and this will be 100x all you have to next do is just subtract both of them so you get what 900x okay and this is coming out to be 324 
okay so now your final answer will be what 324 upon 900 which again gets cancelled and you will get sorry this is 374 so both of them are even numbers so you get the final answer as what 187 upon 450 that is your answer for 0 0.41 and 55 recurring if you want we can just have a look with the calci so 187 divided by 450 gets you the answer 0 0.41 right so similarly let's try for something like this if we have if we have only one number and the next number is repeating so we'll make this x and the next part will be what multiply both sides by 100 so we'll get 36.6 which is recurring and this is going to be 100 x similarly we will multiply this again with what 10 so we'll get what 3.6 recurring and this will be 10 x okay students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement of doing these kind of videos also at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section okay so here this will be what 33 is equals to 90 x okay so your final answer will be what 33 upon 90 which will be nothing but what 11 upon 30 okay if you want we can have a look at this as well so we will divide 11 by 30 and our answer is 0 0.366666 okay so i hope you all got the hang of it now you might be wondering acha for this there is a trick uh, sorry this is the method okay so what will be the method for this one so the method for this one is also very very simple if you just had 0 0.7 recurring and let's keep this as x so we will multiply this with what 10 so we'll get 7.7 .7 is equals to 10x and we'll just multiply subtract the what x part of it so 0 0.7 so we'll be left with what 7 is equals to 9x therefore your answer which is what 7 bar or x that is equal to what 7 upon 9 so the trick for something like this whenever you just have a decimal number decimal point and then the number after this immediately is recurring then you can do this okay if there are two numbers then you write 99 nine. if there are three numbers three numbers then you can write 999 nine, 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 okay but when you have something like this then it is better to follow this particular method because this is a foolproof thing okay here coming to your DIY I want you to tell me what is the answer for 0 0.6 recurring do let me know your answers in the comment section that's it for today I will see you in the next video